Kazakazu Imanari, 42 years old, from Japan. Real legend in the MMA world. He's taking on a hot prospect in Ash Williams. The youngest black belt in the UK when he was awarded it a couple of years ago. <laughs> Fight! So I expect a little bit of a cagey start to this one. Because the Imanari known for very dangerous heel hook applications. There he goes, looking to jump guard early. Paul Seminari with uh, an entire leg entry named solely after him. Heavy collar tie from Williams. We hear the corner of Ash Williams, Chris Reese, reminding him that there's no rush in this one. They have 15 minutes to work. That's a, that's a long time period, especially at the kind of pace that both these guys can, can execute at. Ash, you controlling things. Everything's your choice, Ash. You keep controlling things. Ash the big of the two men, but that's nothing new for Eminari. Yeah, I mean, Eminari has fought three times here on Polaris before, and, and two of those were against far bigger opponents. I mean, I know Gary Tonin made, uh, made a very similar weight to him, but he had a, a huge weight cut to do it. Eminari looks to roll underneath. And obviously, Eminari also facing Nathan Orchard, who's a considerably bigger opponent. So Eminari with that wrist control on top. We're going to turn that leg down. Yeah, Eminari working hard for that inside control to try and set up some leg attacks. That's just very well to stay safe throughout. Ash Williams is also winning the Nogi Europeans. Silver, the, the Pan Championships in Nogi as well. So a very prolific competitor. He's got a couple more matches lined up in the US next month in this sub-only format. He's getting a lot of travel and a lot of varied uh, opponents in as Imanari. <laughs> and some gamesman shit now. <laughs> Imanari trying to get in the head of the, the younger opponent. Failed arm drag for Williams. Imanari's caught that knee. Yeah, and he steps over inside, looking for that inside control. Just trying to catch the heel. Yeah, Williams turning that knee down and then trying to split the legs. Imanari in a straight footlock variation now. Now he switches back to the heel hook. Ash doing a good job of scrambling out. Imanari's trying to get control of that far leg to stop him spinning. Well, he's staying, uh, Williams is staying incredibly calm. Imanari looks like he has a really good bite of this, but Williams has quite freed the knee yet. Yeah, you can see Imanari just readjusting on that knee again, like pulling it deeper into the submission. Super calm escapes there by Ash. Very impressive. Yeah, I mean, look, you can hit during the double, the calmer you can stay, split those legs, pull the knee line. Okay, back to first. That was a good bite on that submission from Imanari. Williams dealt with everything he needed to. That's really going to give him a confidence boost. He was in deep, he dealt with it. Fight! Williams looking to slide pass here. Close guard for Imanari now. All right, keep that face looking for you guys. Now sitting on it, not sitting on it. Imanari taking a breather here. Using his experience to slow the pace down when he wants. Ash shouldn't buy into it. Yeah, Imanari's very calm until he gets like, any small bite on anything, and then he's very explosive. Stick to what you want to do, all your grip set and go. That's it. Yeah, nice attack from Imanari going straight on that leg. Again, he's got to try and pull it back in, though. You see him flare his leg to just try and capture that knee again. Look how he uses all four limbs to try and secure that leg. Yeah, and almost using that ankle lock just to keep keep control of the leg. It's just a stronger grip, it isn't it? Yeah, very much nice. so. 
And this is while, while they're not that sweaty yet. You know, they're, they're coming through the first five minutes here. Oh, and he's got a good bite there. Williams has, has had his... The, the boot has, has kind of failed a little bit there, but he's safe now. Yeah, and Minari's still keeping good control over this foot, or trying to regain better bite on that knee. Now let's see if Williams looks to re-attack off of this. Imanari is so tenacious with his, his footlocks that the other guy has no real choice but to constantly defend. Triangling over the top of both legs here, you can see Williams use that right arm, try and lever the legs open. Yeah, I mean, if Imanari can get the knee back in control, he could be, uh, could be on a good attack there. Yeah, well, Williams is going to look to pummel back inside now. He knows his knees are safe at this point. Let's get her on in the back. Control, you will come. You can use relax if you want. She will come. Nice, Ashley. Oh, he's got a heel hook locked up here. I can't quite see what kind of hip control he's got. Well, Williams getting constant instruction from Chris Reed. She saw for it briefly on your screen there. He looks to knee slide again. Him and Ari so relaxed in that heel hook. Though. Didn't seem to face him at all. He just knows the position so well, the angles, he knows when he's safe. Yeah, I mean, it was, you know, there was a point when he was he was competing against Gary Tonin and Tonin hit the heel hook that he got the finish with and it really was very sudden. Up until that point, Imanari had had this stoic look on his face of just, you know, fighting out of all those entanglements. Through the first six and a half here. We've seen Imag Imanari look to pull guard twice so far. Right, Williams go searching on a single. Go, Ashley. 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 Imanari's doing a good job of just pummeling his legs nice and preventing Ashley. Ashley's pass. Now, yeah, if he said that and up, just insist on it, Ash. Insist on it, Ashley. Ash, yeah, Williams yeah, trying to get, get that knee down the middle working, no, but no, no, Imanari circling back control. inside, managing to keep his frames working well. Go, Ash. And there Williams nice goes, looking for a heel hook. He's got a good bite here, but Imanari not making uh, any motions to escape so far. Yeah, I mean, if, if he keeps having... Switches to the butterfly grip, starts talking. <laughs> Imanari says no. This could really start to affect Ash's confidence if he's yeah. in these tight positions and Imanari just says, I mean, I think, I, I, care. I think that's exactly what he's doing. He, he bit his coach and said, should I, uh, should I switch the transition? There he goes for the toe hold. Shall I break it? Imanari's been very good, and he's got a deep bite on the heel hook now, and he's got his he's got his grip crossed above the knee. Williams is going to try and close the distance here, rebuild his base on top. Yeah, he could use it to go to like a leg drag position. Depends on the control that Imanari's getting now. He's stepping on the hip. So Williams looking to build on top here with that head and arm. This is interesting because he's, he's, got, he's got Imanari completely compressed up and he can really use this to slow down here. Put a lot of pressure on him. Yeah, this is looking good. He keeps making minor adjustments to tighten it up a bit. Yeah, it's going to be difficult to finish the arm triangle from here. Imanari does have those legs in between him. I honestly couldn't tell what, what Ash Williams said to his corner, whether it was, should I switch to the toehold or should I break it? I honestly thought it was the, the should I break it comment, which is... Well, he was certainly looking repeatedly for some advice or inspiration from his corner. Oh, I'm sure, I'm sure, quite frankly, I'm sure that ticked him right off with him very, uh, playing the gamesmanship. But uh, the head and arm choke for Williams is the dominant position here. Yeah, I mean, it's getting tighter. You know, Imanari's no longer got those legs crossed. Yeah, and I think just burning up the clock here is a good idea for Williams. Just sync it up, make it a bit tighter. Don't worry about overexerting, just constantly squeezing. Cinch it up a bit. He's definitely had the, the probably the better of this middle section. Very dangerous now. Right, now he looks to pass, and he's got this locked in, squeezing hips to the mat. Imanari's trying to frame out. 
He's looking, he's going to have to get Brap and take the back off this. There he goes. I don't know if he needed to take that risk, but he's going to. Ash Williams searching for the finish here. Yeah, it's tight on that arm. Imanari's just yeah. oh, it's the Kimura trap. Imanari looks to repumble inside. Williams is going to keep that left leg, or that left knee clear. Great transition for Williams. You wonder, had he, had he played that a little bit slower? And he's showing his intention to take it to Mazakazu Imanari here. Like, really go for the submission. You've got to wonder how much energy it took out of uh, Imanari as well to defend that arm triangle. That was tight. It's a tight position to be in. Yeah, he's, he's seen a couple of deep breaths from him. He might just be using this entanglement just to slow the pace down a little bit. Yeah, I'm sure he would have recovered by now. It's just a slowing of the blood flow. Again, Williams is looking to switch to that sleeper grip in this Ashigurami. Or the butterfly grip, sorry. Well, he's going to set up the toe hold again. The toe hold is what, what he had the most success with in worrying Imanari. Just losing the position a little bit in the, in the process. And here goes Imanari, beautiful inversion through. Ashley's keeping his knee line very free, though. It's not letting get him, Imanari get a good bite on the leg. Yeah, they both can't re pummel their legs so well. Oh, cross straight foot lock possibly for Imanari. He's trying hard on this. Now Ash is very relaxed in the footlock. Yeah. There's a game ship here and Imanari is bridging in and there's a lot of talk on the foot. Both legs entangled. Yeah, and they're, they're, his corner are asking for Williams to just clear the knee a little bit more. And he's cleared the foot. Imanari looking for a heel pull now. Almost working on his own toe hold there. I mean, we've seen that, you know, these young guys coming through, putting their time in this leg game. They're so flexible, and there's the heel hook again for Williams. So rolling through here. Williams again trying to bridge in. He's never quite got that heel hook to position where he can really bridge into it and get that lateral pressure into the side of the knee. Again, he's looking for... It's almost like a steamer lock from this leg entanglement. It's very similar. Imanari is just content just to kind of relax a little bit. Yeah, Maybe two biding his time. Two and a half minutes left, and you know, the, the work rate is going the way of Ash Williams right now. As he gets the crowd to cheer him on. We've got Ash's corner sitting right in front of us, and it's continually calling for Ash just to keep attacking, attacking. Let's go, let's go, let's go, walk, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Yeah. So Glenn Williams looking to pass up top here. He does this really interesting guard position, turning and bridging his hips downwards. Yeah, very, always looking for that leg as well. I really feel that this round, this last five minutes, is open to anybody now. I mean, it, it could be. There's only a minute and a half left. So, as you mentioned a moment ago, Tom, Minari is just a little bit on the back He's had a few three attacks, and he, he got one very good fight of Williams' ankle. So, I'm quite glad I'm not uh, deliberating on this one. Yeah, this one could be a tough one to call. Just depends on this last little bit. Minari's on a leg again. Trying to tie up that knee line. Get it done, get it done, come on. One minute, one minute. Williams looking to regrip here. Don't let go now. Let's go. Okay, Ashley, one minute. You are attacking the find there. One to the other. Minari tying up that leg again, trying to go for an ankle lock. Yeah, again, using the straight foot lock, which I mean, you see less these days that the heel hooks are fully legal, but Minari known for a pretty vicious uh, straight Achilles. Yeah, he's, it looks like he's trying to free up that foot underneath Ash Williams so he can really tie up the legs a little bit better. 
last 40 here. Imanari on the offensive at the moment. I mean, Ash is trying to re-attack with his own heel hook. That's a pretty strong attack if he can get it to work. I mean, you got to figure you put heel hook up against there. A straight foot lock. Now Imanari looks like he's almost got that knee line again. Yeah, he's managed to slow Williams down a lot here. He's kept him very controlled. For this he's got a good bite yeah, here on the leg. Yeah, and you can see some expression on Williams' face here. Final 10 seconds. It's good to play for as Imanari goes searching belly down footlock for Imanari. I think we're going to see the timeout here. And this one is going to go to the judge's decision. And I don't know. No, I need a lot of time. Usually, guys, I'm not shy about making predictions under the scoring criteria, but I have lost track of that one. Both these guys with some fantastic attacks, both with some very, very solid entries, some, some solid breaking attempts as well. This one's going to go down to the judges. What a pace these two put on throughout as we take a look at some of the replays. Here we can see uh, Imanari working to get that inside control. This is uh, right at the start of the fight. You know, it's a very good bite on the leg. Um, Ash is just trying to you know, step on the thighs, create that space, free up his knee line. Yeah, he's obviously come very prepared today, he knew how to get out of all those dangerous positions. And I think what, what we really need to remember is we're seeing a very young Ash here again, go against a legendary leg locker in Iminari. So yeah, very much he's so. only going to get better, and I hope we get to see him back here on Polaris one day soon. Yeah, very technical fight. Both guys did such a good job. This is just towards the end of the fight again. Last, it looks like the last attack that was working. Imanari just trying to pull that foot through. Let's go over to the judges for the decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after 15 minutes of action, we go to the judges' scorecards. The judges declared it a split decision for your winner and moving on to contend for the Polaris Featherweight Championship, Ashley And happy winner, Ash Williams. Ash, take it all in, and if you can, tell me what you're thinking right now, because that's the biggest win of your career so far, I think. Yeah, yeah it uh, definitely is. Uh, I'm more frustrated than anything, to be honest. Um, those are my type of matches. You know, if you've watched me in the past, I'm always contending for fight of the night. But I won't get fight of the night on a flipping low-down sub-only card, I don't know. I felt like it was an IBJF match where uh, people were playing for just like hold the footlock and advantage, you know. Uh, it's tough, it's tough. And I was pushing hard, I wanted to finish, but he just had such good frame and, and a game plan, you know. Can I ask you, at one point you had a really good heel hook locked in and you looked at your coach, Chris Reese, and did you say, shall I break it? Nah, I think I was saying, I'm pulling flat out, he's not bothered. <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> Well, look, I mean, he, he had some good attacks of himself. Were you worried at, at any point throughout that? Um, no, I don't know. So I am quite happy with my, my leg lock defense. Um, obviously, he'll be tested later this year uh, for whoever wins the next other bracket. Um, you know, it's, I would think Clara is basically it's the best opportunity to rest for. They let me fight someone who like, people look, out, look up to for years and years and years, you know? Uh, he's obviously known for his leg lock game. I teach my own students the Imanari role, you know? So it's cool to fight someone that you know, you're teaching their techniques. Um, he was a lot, a lot tougher than I was anticipating, to be honest. I thought I could come, come in the young gun and push the pace. Uh, his framework and his uh, decision making was just so spot on. Well, Ash, we're going to find out next who you're going to be fighting on a later Polaris show. It's going to be Nicky Ryan or Phil Harris, but you're going to come back at least one more time for us here at Polaris. Okay, great, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Ashley Williams. <laughs>